Let's talk about a basic worker pool pattern where jobs are distributed among multiple Go routines and each worker processes jobs and sends results back through a channel. We have a worker function here that takes in a unique ID, a unidirectional jobs channel to send IDs into, a results channel that is also unidirectional and supports only send operations, as well as a wait group from the sync package, which is a synchronization primitive. We defer waitgroup.done, which decrements the waitgroup counter by one once the worker has executed all of the logic inside of it. Each worker is going to pull from the jobs channel. It's going to print the worker ID and the job ID, and we simulate work in this line by multiplying the job ID by two and pushing the result into the results channel. In the main function, we have a buffer channel to represent the jobs. And then we have another buffer channel of the same size to represent the results. We instantiate, or rather we declare a variable wg, which represents the sync.wait group. And we start three go routines using this for loop. Each time we start a worker go routine, we increment the wait group by one. And this guarantees that once we hit wait group dot wait, and the worker, um, the three worker go routines have incremented wait group counter to three, we ensure that all of the wait group dot done deferred calls are made before we unblock past this line. After we want to send the five jobs into the jobs channel, and each of the workers are going to be processing from this jobs channel when there are new job IDs available in the channel. After we send the jobs to the workers, we want to close the jobs channel since there are no more operations that are going to be performed using it. Notice that the workers processing the jobs is non-deterministic, which means that the order of workers processing the jobs, as well as the order in which the jobs are processed, is both arbitrary and non-deterministic and will change based on the run. The reason for this is because each of the worker go routines are pulling from the same uh, job channel. And so based on which worker happens to receive the job from the channel, that worker will be responsible for processing that job. And even though we send the jobs in incremental order from one to five, there's no guarantee that it will be processed in the same order because there is overhead in actually receiving the job um, for each worker and then also additional overhead for processing the job. Although the non-deterministic behavior for the order of processing the jobs is more so related to the overhead of uh, actually processing the job from the channel. After the wait group counter decrements to zero, we're unblocked from line 34 and we close the results channel as well. After which we will iterate through the results in the results channel and print the results. I just want to demonstrate the non-deterministic behavior by running this code and showing the different outputs. In this case, worker three has started job one, four, and five, and then worker one processes job two, and worker two processes job three. I'm going to run this a couple more times just to show you the non-deterministic behavior. You can see each time I run this, the behavior is changing. In this case, worker three happens to process all of the jobs. To make this less likely, we can add a time.sleep Let's add a time dot sleep here for, let's say, 20 milliseconds. Now this makes it less likely for a single worker to monopolize all of the uh, processing. You can see there's a lot more variation now. Worker three, starting job one, worker one taking on another job, worker two, worker one, worker three. And this is because of the time dot sleep for 20 milliseconds ensures that this worker is not going to process um, the job and then continue processing all of the subsequent jobs.